What's up, guys? Iceman here. Wake up! To the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Deck. Like the damn video, if you will. Pull that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. I don't pull it too damn hard or you'll break your two metacarpals like what I did. So have some frickin' sympathy, man. Like the video. And subscribe to the page. And uh, if you uh, want to support me further, you can become a channel member or a patron. Links in the description below. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. May you have many wives. So basically, this is the same barbarian that you have seen in the previous video, only I have made one very important change. Because as mentioned, I'm intending on keeping shit static right now. Uh, to test things out, test out different weird swords and all that shit. Test out weird gear combinations, uh, well, sword combinations, because I'm keeping the gear the same. Ariat's face, Slayer Guard with a Burr Rune. Two to combat skills, two to barb skills. 30 faster hit recovery. 20% bonus to attack rating. 6% life stolen per hit. 200% enhanced defense. Plus 20 to strength, 20 to dex, all that crap. All res plus 30. GG. Uh, PDR reduced by 8% from that Burr Rune. So crazy style points. Uh, but in particularly in this video, I was going to showcase... Flame Bellow, a unique Belrog blade. And check this out. His damage is actually a little better than what it was in my last couple of videos, I believe. Whirlwind damage being 739 to 3000. So these things are ethereal. So the one hand damage is 74 to 380. And they have a 12% uh, percent chance to cast a little 16 Firestorm on striking, but that's not going to be applicable when I'm whirlwinding. We'll see what that looks like, though, when I'm not. When I'm just berserking, just for experimental purposes. Three to fire skills for style points on a character who has no fire skills. 240% enhanced damage. Some fire damage. Probably going to be ass. 18 to Inferno, are you kidding me? 20 to strength, 10 to vitality, fire absorb 30%. Jeez, and I have two of these. What's the Inferno? Let's go see what that does. Okay, but yeah, we're going to go to the Den of Evil, where I like to test these things out. Nothing like entering the blood more in hell. Uh, just the spiritual journey begins. Of course, this guy's 89, so it's not it's not as cool, but... What the hell? What? That's Inferno? That's not what it looks like on a sorceress, is it? Okay, let's go try it on a non fireman Look at this, it could kill him! Wait, does it combine? Level 45, because I have two of them. And even still, it is complete garbage. Oh my, look at how shitty this is. But okay, I can, look at how far it goes. This is not the Inferno that the Sorceress has. It's a new skill! That's a new skill! That is a new skill! Alright, new skill discovered, but... Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's try out Whirlwind now. It's weird that it has this, because who the hell would use that? Plus 18 to Inferno. Uh, if you're like a droid, would you... Uh... Who the hell would use that? I mean, a sorceress already has Inferno, uh, and it's complete ass no matter what you do with it, but it doesn't look like that. It doesn't, like, shoot across the screen, I'm quite sure. But okay, now the main intent... Oh, wow. What's the attack rating? Uh, not the greatest. You've got to be kidding me. Here's the physical I'm in. Uh, even with that, look at this, the world with the fire damage. Uh, it's still doing them in, but let's just berserk them. Because uh, that's just what you do. With the physical abuse. Alright, let's go find the Den of Evil. But, okay. So, the rest of the gear. Laying of hands. For the 20 IES, 350% damage to demons. Fire as a 
Raven Frost for the uh, Cannot Be Frozen. Just doubling up on that for style points because, of course, I have Materials Might as well for style points. 20% faster than walk, 100% damage to demons, slain monsters, rest in peace, GG. 30 to strength, 30 to rest, cannot be frozen, a hog of an armor. And I definitely prefer string of ears. You get life leech on there and you get magic damage reduction and you get physical damage reduction. It's just a very nice belt. Mantled heel, because I wanted to go cheap with the mana leech. Go rider boots and high lord's amulet. Then I do have a torch and annie. Really just maxed Battle Orders and Whirlwind on this guy. And uh, Sword Mastery. Pretty sure. Yep, Blade Mastery is what it is now. You gotta be kidding me. Jeez, look at this. This guy's destroying. Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool how it sucks their soul. Alright, we'll go get this guy. A little unique. Ooh. Okay, so forget about the Den of Evil. I'm not seeing it. Uh, we don't really got to do that because what we really need to test out is how well does this fare in the Trav, in killing the council. Why? Oh, this is a new character. That's why. Right, I had to uh, I had to modify this guy. Uh, I was wondering where the, uh, where the map was. The Den of Evil should be right over here. There it is. There it is! Good old Den of Evil. Look at that, killing that shit in just a couple hits. Okay, uh, let's see what the damage to demons is in total. 450% damage to demons. 10% chance of wounds, 50% damage crushing blow, 48% chance of deadly strike. Um, okay, so the stats aren't the greatest. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about this sword? Uh, just kind of a, uh... I mean, I definitely think they should make them better. Uh, what they did in PD2, I believe, is they added, like, a holy fire aura to it. So, like, you wear this thing and it has some sort of holy fire aura. Uh, where at least it... You can utilize it. You know, you can't really utilize the fire skills as the barbarian. Uh, the inferno is just some stupid thing that they added to it, which doesn't really count for much. As we can see here, there's like no practical value to it. So, yeah, Holy Fire Aura I think would be uh, really good on this sword. I uh, probably could use a little bit more damage. Uh, this is Ethereal, of course, the Zod. So with that, it's it's very expensive, and uh, obviously you just wouldn't do that. You know, you'd use a, you'd make a Grief or something or a Breath of the Dying if you had a Zod. Uh, you wouldn't put it in a shitty sword like this, but ugh, I just think they should. They should try to make this a bit more viable. Or maybe even, like, give it some special Inferno skill that actually can do some damage, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe one that, like, ignores fire uh, immunity or something like that. But those are just my thoughts on it. So let's see. But let me know in the comments what do you think should be done to the sword to make it more interesting. Uh, it does have a pretty good reach to it, as you can see here. It is, uh, it's, 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 the Balrog Blade, I think, has a good reach. So there's that. Uh, Balrog Blade, I think it's commonly uh, used to make an Oath Sword in, which I would like to showcase in a future video. But look at these things. Yeah, look at those things. They look cool, so they have that going for them. Uh, they do look cool, so visually speaking. Uh, they have they have style points in that regard. But okay. Let's see how well they fare in the Trav. Not quite enough life leech. He is surviving. Uh, the fire absorb is actually, I'm sure, quite helpful. There we go. Just got to berserk some of these guys. Look at that berserk damage. So 994 to 4300. Nice. Rare War Javelin. So 
So there you have it. It does a pretty good job against the Trav, I would say. Uh, they are demons, so you get a uh, nice buff with all that demon damage on this build. Uh, the Tyrael's Might and the Laying of Hands. So let's go to the Frigid Highlands. So we have some non-demons here, uh, aside from maybe Shank. So yeah, it's going to struggle against the non-demons. You're doing a far less damage. Ooh, an Elegant Blade. I'd like to make some uh, Rune Word in one of these. Yeah, I will be trying out Oath, uh, probably a couple other things. What have you mentioned? Fury and a Colossus Blade. Uh, just how cool that would be. And the Fury is actually a, a pretty nice Rune Word. No one ever makes it because uh, they're simply better for your money Rune Words. And it's, it simply lacks where it's not supposed to. But uh, overall, it's not that bad. Aside from it being, you know, way overpriced to make, and there's no reason you'd make it for that very reason. But uh, I would like to try out a Fury in a Colossus Blade or something, and maybe pair that with a Grandfather, uh, which I will be testing soon as well. The uh, the Grandfather Blades, so uh, dual uh, friend, dual Frenzy Whirlwind on that. But I uh, appreciate you guys. Like this damn video if you will. Subscribe to the page, and I will see you in my next video. Peace be with you.